As a new seller, should you start selling on eBay or Amazon? That is the question we are going to answer today. Hey guys, welcome to the video. Um, I wanted to make this video because there's a lot of talk um, sort of online in my Instagram DMs about should I start selling on eBay or Poshmark or Amazon or Mercari? Where should I start uh, for people that have no experience? And I kind of wanted to give my thoughts in just uh, in video format so that it can be referenced by uh, new sellers everywhere or potential new sellers everywhere. Uh, there's a few things to say for Amazon and for eBay. I sell on both and I love both in their own unique way. So let's dive right in. Let's look at eBay first. I have a few notes written down right here. eBay has a total of about 200 million buyers. However, 167 million are active monthly. And so uh, you have 167 million active monthly buyers, which is a good number, uh, I suppose. And then you have 25 million active sellers. It's hard to really gauge that number because those are active accounts, but that doesn't necessarily mean that those people have products on their page. It's just that those accounts have not been deactivated or suspended or destroyed. Also, there are many people that hold multiple accounts with eBay. And so um, it's hard to really gauge that number, but for the sake of this video, there's 25 million sellers on eBay. If you look at the Amazon side, Amazon is a much more robust, a much uh, stronger, a much more predominant selling platform on the internet. And in total, as far as buyers go worldwide in total, uh, there are 310 million buyers. Now that's not all active, that's just people that have an account to buy something, but that doesn't mean they always buy something. For that number, we need to look at 200 million. So 110 million less than the total number. Uh, 200 million active monthly buyers is the number that we're looking at. So 200 million active monthly buyers for Amazon, 167 million active monthly uh, buyers for eBay. Then you have to look at uh, sellers. I feel like this is these have kind of pros and cons this point right here, but Amazon technically only allows one selling account per person um, for that person's lifetime. When you sign up, it will tell you that in the terms of service, terms of agreement, um, that you only get one account per lifetime. Now, there are ways around this. So for instance, if a person has an account and it gets banned or it gets deactivated and shut down, they can simply go start an LLC. Now that LLC is its own entity and that LLC under the direction of that person can open a new Amazon account. Um, that is how you can have multiple accounts. There are some instances where let's say for instance, I have my Amazon account, but then I want to start a uh, private label brand and we'll just call it um, Woolsey Goods. And so I want to start a private label brand called Woolsey Goods. I don't want to sell my private label brand on my book, uh, Amazon account. So you can, you can request, I guess, to have a new account open that will be linked to your other one. So Amazon knows you have both accounts and this one would be Woolsey Goods and it would be all private labeled products for Woolsey Goods on this side. Other than that exception, I'm not sure that there's many others that follow. Um, I know of people that start multiple LLCs because they have wholesaling businesses and they want one wholesale uh, business to be all hair care products and another one to be all um, weight loss or fitness products. And so they'll open multiple LLCs and then each LLC has its own account and they'll run things that way. And technically, I guess that is um, like that's good for the rules. However, uh, on eBay, it's a lot more relaxed. On eBay, you have the option to open multiple accounts. And eBay eBay just wants to know that you are the account holder for all of these accounts. And that's where we get the super inflated number of 25 million sellers on eBay. There's not actually that many sellers. It's just that there are multiple accounts open and I myself have three eBay accounts. I've got um, an eBay account on kind of like a hibernation mode. I don't do anything with it. It's just standing by. Uh, I have an eBay account that is active. And then I have my new eBay account 
that I I opened in December and officially started selling in January because I want to see I want to test and see how fast a new seller or a new account can grow to ten thousand dollars in revenue per month um, in the in the year 2020. And so that is sort of my uh, my focus on that. I've been placing a ton of focus on that uh, in growing that account to ten thousand revenue per month because. I want to uh, I want to make videos about it and share that to help other people that want to start selling. So if you had to say which is better for the beginner seller to start selling on, I would have to lean to a little bit toward eBay because while there while eBay's reach is not as far, uh, that it's is vastly more forgiving than Amazon. Amazon has very strict um, limits as far as order defect rate, returns, negative feedback, and uh, and eBay is just a little bit more lenient when it comes to those things. However, if you do get in, in bad standing on eBay, uh, they will definitely stuff your listings way down in the results. And so it's more difficult to find those. Also, uh, you know, on, on the opposite end of that, I really like Amazon for the fact that you add your product to an already existing listing. And then, uh, you know, just by price action, you can ensure sales that way. Many of these listings are already optimized for that listing. And so you can just throw your item up. And then as long as you're priced competitively and you have a good seller rating, then you're good. Whereas on eBay, it's a little bit more difficult. There's strategy, there's tax. Every time you list something, you have to make sure each and every listing is optimized for maximum search return. And then, uh, you know, there's promotions and uh, sales and, and all these different things. So it's kind of like a give and take. I feel like for the absolute beginner, eBay is definitely the essential option to begin selling on the internet. And then I think that Amazon is absolutely the next step in progression as an online uh, e-commerce seller. One thing to uh, caution new sellers about when it comes to selling on eBay is that you wanna be very careful that you don't create ghost accounts. eBay is is totally fine with you having multiple accounts. However, they want to know that all of those accounts are linked to each other through you. So if you set up, you know, uh, if you set up walls and you set up sort of um, IP address blockers and you're using VPNs and different things to segregate all of your accounts, that throws a red flag to eBay once they find it and they will find it. So the word of caution here is, uh, if you're going to set up additional accounts, you know, for testing or for different products, you know, maybe you want one account completely to sell all purses and another account to sell all shoes just for organization purposes, then definitely uh, make sure that those are linked and make sure that your information is the same on both of them. That way eBay can link them. Don't set up accounts separately when you are the person holding them. Those ghost accounts can get shut down in a heartbeat and then all that work is thrown out the window. There are literally people on YouTube teaching today to go set up ghost accounts and to do uh, some pretty shady stuff that goes absolutely against uh, eBay's terms of service and agreement. Don't get caught up in that um, in that world of sort of like skirting the line and doing things semi-illegally or, or, you know, it's just not a good place to be. Let's build uh, businesses. Let's build online reselling businesses with, with honesty and integrity and uh, let's put out a good quality product and a good customer service experience for our buyers. Guys, that's the video today. I really appreciate you watching. Just kind of a little heads up here for our new sellers that wanna get into this stuff. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to leave a like, and if you're not already subscribed, consider subscribing. And as always, keep selling, get the bag, and I'll see you on the next video.